hi all welcome again in this new video in today's video i will cover our next topic that is frequency mm also note that it is similar for ecc and sap s for hana so there is no change in this process in older version of sap or new version of sap also this topic is not very familiar because most of trainer won't teach this topic although it's a very easy topic so let's start with video but before that if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel also share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you so let's start with video so what are exactly free goods means and when we required this process so free goods are like giving certain material or quantity as a free of charge based on the order quantity you may get these goods maybe as a bonus quantity or extra quantity or sometimes whenever we send to quotation to vendor then vendor give us a sample product that time also we required this process to handle free goods so that's why we must know how to handle free goods in sap because it's happened when we say we ask for some material for first time then we may ask for sample of that material for quality and testing purpose so that time how to handle this product in our sap system so we will see that so it's not like very big process as i told you so let's dive into system and check how it works uh, there are two types first i will cover one and then i will show in system also one and then we will jump into the next type so we can manage that using two ways so i will show you first way prerequisite as we know there are material master and vendor master is must purchasing info record is and all that is optional so i am not covering all stuff you may relate this similar topic with p2p cycle in between just consider from purchase order so major change is in only in purchase order so second one is purchase order so what i have done i have already maintained some vendor and master in system vendor master and material master so i will go directly to the purchase order so t code for purchase order is me21n also note that i am using s4hana 1909 version of system for this demo so i will go into the system so this is the system and i will run t code me21n then I have already maintained vendor and material master for this purpose. So I have already created the, some PO and I will use that only. So with reference of purchase order, I am creating new purchase order. So this will be the my vendor. This will be the material I have created test free material for this purpose. Everything is similar how we create purchase order, but only one change is there in this tab item overview tab just scroll to the right then you will find one option of free it's just nearby info record so if you check this info record you will find one more option here of so this option free this option if that is a free good you have to tick it tick here as a free good that's it nothing changed so that's the only one thing is different in purchase order while creating you have to tick as a free so it will be like free good and that's it then ju just check your purchase order and save it so there is no warning or any error so i will just try a straight forward i will save this purchase order i have created this purchase order i will just copy this then go into your amigo what i have done i have created this purchase order and i have ticked this free tick that's very important in item overview and then your goods received in migo so go into migo so what system do in this case system only update quantity in system but it won't update any accounting entries for this type of po's i will select here goods received then provide your purchase order number so i have provided then just press enter and movement type should be 101 as i am doing so movement type should be 101 as i am doing it with purchase order then item put your item and all details 
So nothing change in GR basically. GR is same, just you have to create it. Once you have updated the tick in purchase order, GR is same as traditional way what we do and just save it. So in this case, what system will do? System will only create quantity update, no accounting document at all. So that's how we manage free goods in system. Then there is another way, the way we can manage goods, free goods in system. So uh, we will see that. So again, prerequisite is material master and vendor master as you know, but this time you can update your free goods directly using movement type 511 movement. So this movement type is basically designed for goods received without charges. So we will see that how to manage. So let's dive into system and see that. So one way I have shown, now I will show you other way, let's say, so for that again, I'm using HANA. So you can use any either of these T code MIGO or MIGO underscore GI. In ECC, you can use different T codes as well, but I would suggest MIGO is always best option. So you no need to worry about HANA or ECC. So don't go in MB1B, MB1C or MB1A. Use MIGO or MIGO underscore GI. It's easy and it's support in both systems. So no need to remember different T codes. It's better to use latest one. So I will use MIGO or MIGO GI. So I will show you using MIGO. So run T code MIGO. Once you go in MIGO here, you select goods issue. Then your documents here must be other and your movement type should be 511 so it's by default there as i selected it before last time but i will show you what exactly 511 movement type stand for so just scroll down and here you can see receipt of delivery without charges so same you can do in case let's say you have different kind of material so you can use that 511 in case of rtp or normal material that's it only two options we have delivery without charges so you can use this two movement but i'm showing with 511 so select 511 movement type then provide for which material you want to do a free delivery so i am using 3658 the similar material that i have created then how much quantity so one quantity then where exactly you want this material so i am providing my plant and storage location details then one more most important thing if you do 511 delivery without charges for material then system ask me for text if you won't provide text and check system will give me error so let's see i haven't given this text so system ask me text and vendor so i will provide text vendor is compulsory in this again so vendor i have provided but text is also compulsory so i will provide here text as well now check so system will not give me any error so see here it's everything is fine now so i can save this document so again what system will do in this case system will only update quantity but it will not create any document related accounting document related things that's how we process free goods in SAP it's really easy thing so that's it for this video it's really short but I have seen that most of consultant or tutors won't teach this topic so that's why I have covered here in case you have any question regarding this video kindly post in comment section and I will give answer to you also don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you see you in the next video bye